Now I'm just going to give you some little pointers, little strategies to help you in all those stages. Please don't worry if you can't remember all of these today. These are just little strategies for you to start thinking about this week and perhaps using with your child in your homes. But please be assured that we're going to be doing these strategies every week in the activities that we're doing. So it's not a compulsory piece of homework that you remember all these and try all these. Just try and remember a few of them and try and perhaps start bringing them in to your everyday life in your home setting. And next week we'll be using them, we'll be revisiting them again and we'll be using them and showing you how to bring them into your pretend play situations. So I'm just going to give you a few and it perhaps, perhaps some of them you might think, oh yes, I can try that. Um, and please be encouraged and great if, that, if that's the case. So when a child is naught to one, it's great to give them a reason to communicate. So for example, you could offer them choices. Would they like some milk or would they like some water? And you could say milk or water. And they will point to whether they want the milk or the water. They won't necessarily say the word, but they will point and you say, yes, you want the milk or yes, you want the water. And that's a fantastic way. When we're giving children food, this is brilliant. You could give them a choice. Do you want the banana or do you want the apple? And they can point to the one you want. And then you say, oh, you want the banana. Oh, you want the apple. Also give items bit by bit. So if you were, say, for example, going to back to the banana, if you were giving them a banana, rather than chopping it up and putting it all on their plate at the same time, you could give them one bit at a time and this will encourage them to say more. Or you could say to them, you want more? And they go more and you could show them and they have to say, try and say more or you could say more. When we're feeding our children, it's a fantastic way of bringing in these choices and bringing in this kind of language. Put items out of reach to encourage that they have to communicate that they want them. So, for example, if they like playing, going back to the ball situation, if they like playing with the ball, put a little bit out of reach, away from them, perhaps on the floor, and they see it and they go, oh, and they reach to it, you want the ball. The same perhaps if they like pushing a train around, put it a bit out of their reach, put it a little bit away from them but so they can see it. And then they can communicate that they want that. And you can say, yes, you want the train. Try not to anticipate their needs and talk for them. Give, be patient and give them time to just show you what they want. So wait for them to show you that they want to be picked up rather than go, you want to be picked up straight away before they've shown you that. Really, really, really important here is to avoid putting pressure on the child to copy or repeat words. We must not be saying, say this, say that, do, because that would just overwhelm a child. The important thing in this step is just praise, praise and praise. Making it fun, making it not pressured and making it something that becomes a really special time between you and this communication and praising and recognising them. No pressure needs to be put on a child to do these things. We need to incorporate listening into sounds into everyday activities. So while we're in our homes, we could be saying, can you hear the clock? Can you hear the sound of the washing machine? Can you hear the tap being turned on? Just get them to start listening to things. Perhaps you could make a little noise and say, can you hear the noise? And you could have a little squeaky toy or something. You're making the noise. You're encouraging that listening stage because that is really, really important. So see if there's any in those lists that you could perhaps try to incorporate into your um, house this week, your home this week, to try with your children. 